the name of the Lord Jesus, not one sickness will escape this service. Not one pain will escape this service. In Jesus' mighty name. We'll look at the topic, understanding the wonders in the prophetic mantle. Understanding the wonders in the prophetic mantle. I like us to understand very crucial truth from God's word. That our spiritual understanding of any scriptural truth is what defines our practical experience. Spiritual understanding is what determines practical experience. In Matthew 13, 23, he said, He that received seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. It's based on understanding. They all hear the word but understand it differently. Spiritual understanding talks about your ability to see what God is saying. Genesis chapter 13, verse 14 to 15, is as far as your eyes can see. Look from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, westward, northward, southward, Genesis, Malachi, eastward, westward, Matthew, Revelation. As far as your eyes can see, I will deliver it to you. What you see is what you have seen. If you don't see what you want to see, check what you are seeing from what God is saying. I'm under heaven now, and I want to declare to somebody standing on this altar of fire, after today's mantle impartation, whatever works for Bishop Oedeko will work in your hands. That amen is very weak. Amen. That amen can be louder. Amen. What is in the prophetic mantle? Second service. We always share the teaching. And I know that people come for the service God has prepared for them. One thing. What is in the prophetic mantle? What is in this mantle before you? In the prophetic mantle is the transmission of the power of God that triggers signs, wonders, and special miracles. So in this mantle standing before you is the transmission of God's power. And when you use it, signs, wonders, and special miracles, not usual miracles. Acts chapter 19, 11 to 12, and God wrought special miracles. The Bible doesn't make errors. God wrought special miracles by the hand of Paul. How do you talk about somebody who couldn't smell for 34 years? Just put mantle on the nose and suddenly the nose open. Special miracles by the hand of Paul. How do you explain somebody who couldn't smell again? Another case, 20 years. Put mantle there, the nose open. Special miracles. No doctor can heal you of that. Special miracles by the hands of Paul. And what brought it? Aprons were taken. So there was power in those aprons. Just like there is power in this handkerchief. Hear this in the name of Jesus. Anyone with any case of special problems. As this mantle reaches you. Special miracles shall be wrought. I didn't hear the loudest amen. That amen is not loud enough. So in the prophetic mantle is the transmission of the power of God. When you see it, you won't struggle. God's power is there. Permit me to say, the prophetic mantle is like a charged battery. When you have charged the battery, you don't need to plug it. So when the mantle is from a prophet of God, it is charged. When you disconnect and send it on a trip, the battery is still 
When you charge your phone in Asia, before you travel down here and your phone is off, when you arrive in America, is it flat battery? The same place you left it, it continues to transmit. What is God saying? These mantles have been charged before they were discharged. And now that they have been discharged, they are ready to discharge special miracles. Now therefore, hear this in the name of the Lord Jesus. By reason of this prophetic mantle, someone's life will take a 360 degree turnaround. I didn't hear louder, amen. How do you draw virtue from this prophetic mantle? I just summarized what I told them first service, then I give you three more. How do you draw virtue from the mantle? One, receive the person and the ministry of the prophet. Receive the person. Matthew 10, 41. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall have what? A prophet's reward. So receive. Receive. Don't deceive yourself. Receive. When you are in deception, grace can flow. Receive the person and the ministry of the prophet. Number two, recognize that every prophetic virtue is freely available to whosoever is interested. Freely you have received. Matthew 10, 8, freely give. Philippians 1, 7, cleanse, I mean, Philippians 1, 7, he said, ye are all partakers of my grace. So we must recognize the prophetic mantle is freely available to whosoever is interested. Number three, to draw virtue from the mantle, possess a sense of value. What you don't value can add value to you. If you don't value the grace of God in someone ahead of you, you can't be a partaker of that grace. So possess a sense of value. That woman said, if I may but touch the M of his garment, I don't need to hug him. I just need to touch the M of his. The one rolling on the floor carries the virtue. If I may but touch the M of his garment, I shall be made whole. Number four, how do you drop virtue from the mantle? We must release our faith. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall he be established. Believe also is prophet, so shall you prosper. Second Chronicles 20 and verse 20. Number five, second service. Be spiritually connected to the source. Be spiritually connected to the source. Sometimes we say, oh, have a crave, have a crave. That's good. But crave without connectivity will not lead to a flow. You may crave it, but are you connected to the source? Our crave is a covenant access to the flow, but our spiritual connectivity to the source is what releases the flow. My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and his horsemen thereof, Elisha kept screaming and kept screaming and kept screaming. That was not his natural father, but he was connected to the source. Some of us have heard God's servant Bishop Oedek will talk about when in 2003, I believe, when the patriarch was going home to be with the Lord. Kenneth e. Hagin. He was just there in the study and God told him, he said, someone as close to you as your cloth is about to depart. He said, who is that? Is that my biological father? I said, no. Hagin. Ah, Kenneth e. Hagin is about to depart. He was in Africa. Hagin was here, but the connectivity gave the information. People, maybe perhaps close to him in his office, had no idea. So it's not proximity. Is connect. In fact, listen, listen. Sometimes it's dangerous to be too close to the person who carries the virtue. If not, you won't value it. It's not proximity. It's connectivity. So be spiritually connected to the source. Second Kings chapter two, verse four to six. Proverbs twenty-seven, verse eighteen to nineteen. A son doesn't struggle, and that takes me to the next point. Possess genuine sonship. Genuine sonship and in, our, in the case of some others, genuine daughtership. Possess genuine sonship, genuine daughtership. That is, you are, de- you are a son, you are a daughter, regardless of what it is. Someone talks evil about your father, do you deordain your father? You are connected. It's your father, it's your father. You are a son, you are a son. Let us not be like people who don't have fathers. 
be connected as a son because that is a guarantee. Second Kings chapter 2, you read that down from verse 12 to verse 15. You kept saying, Elisha, my father, my father, my father, my father. Hear this. You can't be imparted by a boss. You're only imparted by a father. If you see the prophet as your boss, you can't have any virtue. Only fathers. Staff don't carry DNA. But children do. So, that you walk in the commission doesn't mean you carry it. It's when he becomes your father. And your father is your father, whether he's there or not. So be connected. Be connected as a genuine son to the father. Number seven, this one is heavy. And I don't know why God reserved it for second service. But possess a pure heart. What do you possess? You know, in our world these days, people can pretend. They pretend and so they are detained. Possess a pure heart. Why? This mantle will check your heart before the virtue will flow. <laughs> Possess a pure heart. Possess a pure heart for it to work. Second Kings chapter 4, 29 to 31. You know, there's a man they call Geazi. This man's heart wasn't pure. Even if you look at the name, the name is like the heart. Because you see Elijah, you see Elisha, where is, where is Geazi? Even from the name, you know something is wrong. The master said, no, just go. He, he said, no, how can my master spare? This is fresh meat to steal from. Now, if you check it, chapter 5 of 2 Kings, verse 20 to 27. Now go and uh, lay my rod. This dead child is on my bed in that house. Gazi went, the rod didn't work. He said, the child wicked not. It won't work in the, heart, in the hand of a man with a wrong heart. Listen, man looks at your hand, God checks your heart. Have you observed in the kingdom of God? It's not perfect people God uses. He checks. Someone says, how can God use that man? Do you know his heart? In fact, from that statement, your heart is faulty. Possess a pure heart. There are people in Ethiopia, the mantle is working for. There are people in Faith Tabernacle is not working for. There are people in Maryland is working for. There are people in the same house is not working for. Your heart. I, the Lord, search the heart. The heart. God does not look like man looks. Man looks on the outside appearance. That man is Jim Jim. It's heavy. But the heart is like this. God said, I can't use him. Hear this? God is not looking for perfect men. God is looking for perfect hearts. If you think you already have what Bishop Oedeko has, this man too can't work. What then do I expect? Because I'm about ready for the flow of virtue. What then do I expect? Number one, expect the raw impartation of the spirit of faith. When this mantle comes, one way you can tell it works is your language will switch. The spirit of faith is a speaking spirit. It's an annoying spirit to the camp of the wicked, but they can't stop it. We all having the same spirit of faith. We declare, and then we have what we declare. If you shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast on the sea, he shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. Why are you so fearful, O oh, ye of little faith? The moment the spirit of faith comes, the spirit of fear disappears. 
A man was involved in a plane crash, Ethiopian Airlines, in the 90s. And right there, he remembered, hey, this plane's about to crash. Let me reach out for my mantle. And then he took his mantle and tied it on his neck. The plane, when it crashed, divided in front of his seat. He's the only survivor. The spirit of faith. He wasn't crying. Why are you so fearful? When fear knocks at the door, send faith to open the door. And you discover that there is nothing to fear in fear. Absolutely nothing to fear in fear. Absolutely nothing. Zero fear to fear in fear. To expect that, that the same fearless spirit in God's servant Bishop David Oedeko that has taken territories and given victories with ease is coming upon you. Amen. Somebody receiving it will shout amen. amen. What more? Expect the spirit of wisdom that enthrones. You don't rule in this world by might. You rule by wisdom. By me, kings reign. And that's what is happening for us in this commission. We are in charge by wisdom. What you hear upon our altars are not regular. People use our books to teach. By me, kings reign. Princes declare justice. Proverbs 8, 15 to 16. What more do I expect? Expect the spirit of might. 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 You can't dominate in this world as a weakling. You need might. Daniel eleven thirty two. 32. Those that don't know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. As this mantle comes upon you, every form of weakness disappears in your life. Yeah. What do I expect? I expect every grace visible upon this commission and upon his prophet. What are some of these graces? The grace of progress. The grace of signs. The grace of wonders. The grace of special miracles. The grace of prosperity. The grace of peace that passes all understanding. The grace of stability in every battle. It's all available and it's coming upon somebody. Amen. What more? What do I expect? Expect to experience every testimony that has ever taken place in this commission. Testimonies have taken place such as supernatural fruitfulness, supernatural settlement in marriage, miracle jobs, supernatural favor of all kinds. Expect the crushing down of every invisible barrier on your path of progress. Can I tell you this? Somebody under the sound of my voice, after this mantle gets to you, what you will enjoy from here on is unstoppable progress. Amen. I didn't hear louder, amen. amen. I didn't hear louder, amen. amen. Expect all generational causes to be averted. Can I tell you this? After this man to reaches you, anyone who causes you, the God of this commission will reverse that curse on their head. Yeah. What more? Expect all of your special desires to be delivered. What should I expect? Expect instant healing. Expect deliverances. Expect special miracles via the prophetic mantle. I'm glad to announce to you that by this mantle, all barriers are cleared off your way. Yeah. And if that is you, let your amen be the loudest. Yeah. Let your amen be the loudest. Yeah. Let your amen be the loudest. Yeah. Someone was confirmed dead and they ran to one of our pastors. They said, hey, pastor, can you quickly come and pray? The pastor said, it's late in the night, I can't come. But I have a handkerchief that I was given at the last pastor's meeting. Take it, wipe the body of the dead. They wipe the body of the dead, the dead jack back to life. After being confirmed dead. Another one, similar situation. The pastor sent the mantle and the family members took the mantle and started hitting the body of the dead. And the dead woke up and said, why are you beating me? That's how death was averted. 
We've seen the man to deliver from all kinds of sicknesses and diseases. Incurable. And we had such testimonies this morning. Therefore, lift up your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, this time, this man too will walk in your hand. I didn't hear a louder amen. I didn't hear a louder amen. This is the fifth wonder Sunday. And the last is the best. Therefore, get ready. In the authority of the name of Jesus, this wonder Sunday will speak in your life. I said this wonder Sunday will speak in your life. This wonder Sunday will deliver practically. Do you know what God said to us in this church? Everything you have written down has already been taken care of. Everything written down on your prayer card, you will never have to pray about those issues again. In the name of Jesus. I'd like you to jump on your feet right now this morning or this afternoon. Bring out your prayer card and I'd like you to look at those items one by one. This is the word of the Lord to you. Those items are taken care of. They are taken care of. They are taken care of. Therefore, look at them one by one and begin to declare, this is done. This is done. This is done. This is done. Lift your voice right now. Somebody declare very passionately. Declare very confidently. This is done. This, this prayer request is answered. That one is answered. This one is done. That one is done. Somebody raise your voice. Let God hear you this morning or this afternoon. Lift your voice. There is no carryover of any of such requests. There is absolutely no carryover. Everybody please rise on your feet. There is no carryover of any one of my requests. These prayer requests are fully answered. They are fully answered. They are fully answered. We've seen God confirming his word every wonder Sunday. This time his word again is confirmed. It's confirmed in your life. It's confirmed in my life. It's confirmed in your life. It's confirmed in my life. It's confirmed in your life. It's confirmed in my life. Father, thank you. Lift up your prayer card if you still have it. And if you don't have, lift up your hand. God sees your heart. Whatever heart desire you've had within this prophetic five wonders Sundays, I decree that they are delivered to you now. Every one of those hard desires are delivered to you right now. In case it's an issue of sickness or disease, an issue of pain, a medical report that doctors have written off or given up of on, I decree in the authority of the name of Jesus, today is the day of your liberty. Any request written down that is relating to jobs, relating to careers. We had testimonies even this morning as people sent for their angels from last week's teaching. Angels went forth, brought out papers, brought out all kinds of things. I decree in the name of the Lord Jesus, the angel of this commission goes forth to deliver your career desire. Anyone that has been stagnated in any area of their life, I stand upon this altar of fire. Who knows the one that is backing him up? And I decree that stagnation is over. That stagnation is over. That stagnation is over. Anyone that has been under any oppression of the devil, moving objects, attacks in the night, attacks in the day, whatever it is in your mind, all kinds of battles. I stand upon this altar of fire. On this final wonder Sunday. To declare that that oppression is over. In the name of Jesus. Every issue of concern. That makes you like a mockery. To your peers. That makes you hide your face. When certain people are coming. I stand upon this altar to decree right now. In the authority of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That name that is above every other name. I decree every issue of shame. Is declared over right now. In the name of Jesus. Hear this. It said at the end. It shall speak. Everything has been gathering momentum to this day. Now we are at the end. He said, though it tarry, wait for it. For it shall surely come to pass. It shall not tarry. Now I stand upon this altar. Between August, September, October, November. 
what many of you have not seen in your life is taking place in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Wave those prayer cards right now to heaven. Wave them to heaven. Now ushers, begin to step forward. I need the choir, please get on your stand. Ushers, step forward right now. Step forward right now. And then begin to collect those prayer cards. I'm going to pour the oil over them and burn them. That signifies that you will never have to think about them again. By the power of the Holy Ghost, all of those prayer requests. For many of you, I just heard now, many of you, this will be like Shiloh. If you start referring to this prayer, you say, ah, during the five wonder Sundays, the way people say Shiloh request, Shiloh request, this is your five wonder Sunday request. Anything that is left to be a wonder in your life, I decree as we close this service, is converted into wonder testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands and praise the ushers. Go forward, collect it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Are the ushers moving forward? Lift your hands. Miracles are going to take place just at this moment. Wherever you are challenging your health, place your hand. I'd like you to see this as a final opportunity to chase that devil out. If God has been making whole the sick, people have recovered their health, it is wrong for you to carry any symptom back home. God never has to tell anyone to come tomorrow. He's the Almighty. He has all might in his hand. He won't be stronger tomorrow than he is today. Place your hand wherever it is. And now in the authority of the name of Jesus, wherever you are watching online, here in the main auditorium, in the overflow area, there's nobody, there's no distance in the realm of the spirit. When God calls out your case, it's because it's a settled case. Now in the name of Jesus, someone here has had challenge with digestion. Even when you try to swallow your own spirit, causes some pain and discomfort. I don't know who you are. But in the authority of the name of Jesus, when he speaks to one, he speaks to all. Every digestive related issue, intestinal issue. Now somebody here, you've had some medical report that there has been maybe some internal bleeding. Now we didn't read this testimony but in this service, there was a written in testimony someone had some fibroid and by the power of God the fibroid came out on his own no surgery it's a written in testimony no surgery now in the name of the Lord Jesus when it does for one it's doing for one. there's somebody else here you've had the pain of fibroid discomfort of fibroid God is the one calling your case I don't know you in the authority of the name of Jesus all the symptoms of that fibroid symptoms of that pain I command out in the name of Jesus God is restoring eyesight eyesight someone here you don't even use glasses it's not that you use glasses that's not the issue but one eye is faulty I think it's the left one 
faulty eyes. Very blurry image. You've told yourself, no, 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 I won't use these glasses. But you know you've been struggling with it. Someone else, some hearing issue. In the name of Jesus, you begin to, you are hearing sounding right now. Sound hearing. Sound hearing. Sound hearing. Restore. Sound hearing. Restore. Sound hearing. Restore. Sound hearing. Restore. Sound hearing. There are all kinds of pains disappearing. Now there's somebody struggling to walk properly under the sound of my voice. You see, with God, there's nothing that is impossible. I decree strength. Your ankle bones right now receive strength. In the name of Jesus. All kinds, all right? Some of your spinal related injuries or pain, I should call it, it's been there, you've been managing. But that pain is gone. Headaches disappear back to hell. Now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the great physician, except he's not the one who has been healing. He won't heal the first four Sundays and depart on the last one. Therefore I decree every symptom of sickness or disease out in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, high blood pressure and its symptoms. There are symptoms of high blood pressure, symptoms of diabetes. Gone forever. Gone forever. Gone forever. Someone here has knee issues. Knee issues. Now under the sound of my voice, every knee related issue out in the name of Jesus. Some individuals here have what people call moving objects. Moving objects. Moving and you can tell something is moving. In the authority of the name of Jesus, I decree every moving object in anyone's body out in the name of Jesus. Not one person with any sickness. Not one person with any symptoms. Alright, somebody here, you have heart palpitation. You've had it. Your heart breathes fast. Like we had in that testimony, when you even walk small, you have to relax. You talk small, you have to relax. I decree every heart-related issue healed in the name of Jesus. Lord, I vow nobody will share your glory. Nobody. Nobody. Do it, Lord, in a way nobody can take credit. I vow all the glory belongs to you. In the name of Jesus. And now I know he touched me and arthritis related issues. Arthritis. Arthritis. Healed in the name of Jesus. He touched me. suffer from trembling like this the body will be shaking in the authority of the name of don't let any doctor deceive you it's a spiritual problem now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that trembling issue is gone forever in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Someone's stammering tongue is healed right now. He did it last week, he's doing it again. Right now, stammering tongue healed. Skin issues and rashes gone. Just check yourself now, you'll be shocked. Your skin is like a baby. Creative miracles have taken place. Thank you, Lord. Every disability issue, everyone, in case you are here on any wheelchair, you don't have to go back home on it. You, in case you came here with any walking stick, you don't have to go back home with it. 
Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and Thank you, Lord. Raise your hand and give him praise. Thank you, Jesus. your forehead, the mantle or your white handkerchief and then you pass it. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. as you have received it so we know how many people are left place it on your head if there is any grace at work in the servant bishop or any that you desire there must have been something you see that has kept you within this commission Lord I desire a duplication of it speak to the Lord right now duplication is what I want duplication is what I want duplication is what I want there are people at that corner who are here to be served so if we have more officials please duplication is what I desire duplication Somebody is desperate enough and they are saying, it's not duplication I want, it's multiplication I want. That is my desire. It's multiplication I want. It's multiplication I want. Somebody raise your voice right now. It's multiplication I want. It's multiplication I want. I want that grace. I want that grace. I want that grace. I want that grace. Will somebody please raise their voice right now? Somebody raise your voice. I desire that grace. I desire that grace. I know I've seen it in this commission. I've seen it in my father, Bishop Oedipo. I desire to walk in my life. I desire to walk in my life. I desire to walk in my life. I desire it to walk in my life. If you believe in the prophetic mantle, begin to declare, I desire it to walk in my life. I desire, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. No more lack and want. No more begging. No more frustration. Yes, I desire it from now, from now, not tomorrow, from now. Everybody, including the overflow area, begin to declare, I desire from now, not next week. From now, from now, from now, from now, from now, from now. Begin to declare, I desire from now. I desire it from now. I desire it from now. I desire it from now. I desire it, I desire it, I desire it. And so, Lord, I know you are delivering it. I desire it, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. Now, this is the instruction. Any place, any document of yours has been delayed. Go there this week and wave the mantle. Now the question is this. Can your spiritual father be denied? When you are given instructions, please follow it. Now somebody needs to go back and strike their debit cards. And begin to declare this stagnancy is over. Now please hear this. Somebody needs to go to their house and strike the door 
and declare favor begin to enter this house now this is the truth can the house of Bishop Oedeko be dry now my question to you is this after today will your house be dry for anyone here who has had trouble sleeping as soon as you get home go and strike your bed and I decree in the name of the Lord Jesus if the mystery of the prophetic mantle is real it will answer for you this week some of you go and strike your resumes enough of applications without feedback as you strike those resumes somebody tonight will not sleep for your sake somebody tonight will not sleep for your sake in the name of Jesus lift up your hands and thank him lift your hands and thank him miracles are still taking place right now oh yes miracles are still taking place 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 receive your own receive your own miracles are still taking place miracles all kinds of special miracles are still taking place receive your own receive your own receive your own thank you lord blessed be your name in the name of jesus god touched you this moment one thing god doesn't like to do is to share his glory Someone says it's not major. What you call minor has killed people. Never call any act of God minor. Why? You are not the doer. If you didn't do it, don't classify it. Every act of God is major. God has taught somebody here who is not ashamed. We've had 50 year plague drop like that. We've had 40 year plague last week drop like that. We've had 20 year plague drop like that. Today we had 34 years plague drop like that. In the same service, 20 years plague drop like that. Who is the doer? Who is the doer? Right now, God, touch you quickly. Take your bags, your Bibles, run out to the front. We may not be able to share what God did, but let God know, Lord, I acknowledge you did something in my life. God, touch you. Just quickly come out. Just quickly come out. Just quickly come out. Just quickly come out. Pastors, you need to hurry. God touch you from any corner, anywhere, including the overflow. Come out. People are seated in the overflow today. Come out. God touch you. Make your way forward. Never share God's glory with anybody. Glorious and worthy to be praised. The land of wonderful. seat everyone please those of us in front if you are coming quickly come out to give God the glory praise the Lord clap your hands please are you seeing all these awesome miracles please can we have them line up the way we usually would do that please let's quickly do that clap some more please for Jesus Praise the Lord. Who is Judy Mansori? Who is that? Amen. God did this for you in the previous Wonder Sunday service. You know what I'm asking? There are some testimonies you ask first. She came in, you were diagnosed with cancer before, cervical cancer. In the previous Wonder Sunday service, God healed that. She went to the doctor, confirmed cancer. <laughs> are you just looking? Come, come. Clap some more for Jesus. Look at what Jesus is doing in our midst. If this doesn't get you excited, I don't know what else can. Hey. Amen. Somebody has had ankle challenge. You have when God said that ankle challenge. Who is that person? Ulua Kemi, you are the one. Who's, maybe your own case is the same. You are the one. Who is Ulua Kemi here? Who is the person? For 15 years, 
are you just looking? Will you clap your hand? Come up, come up, come up, come up. Somebody for 10 years, the left eye had some dark obstacles. Who is that person? Ado. You are the one? See what Jesus is doing and you are just looking. What's this? Not hearing clearly. Mark Jeremy. For 10 years. Who is that person? You are the one? Come on, clap your hand. You are just watching in Maryland. Give Jesus a big hand. Nipping God. Come on, I think everybody should stand up and give the Lord a shout in Somebody, all the symptoms of arthritis after 14 years. Are you just looking? Who is that person? Oluwa Femi Afolari. Who is that person? You are the one? Come on, climb up. Give Jesus a shout. A shout. A shout. A shout. Stretch forth your hands. Lord, you are the doer of all these testimonies. How many of them, please? How many testimonies? Lord, you are the doer. All the glory returns to you. This is proof that your own is already done. In Jesus' mighty name. 